Hello once again, everybody. I'm Jake Lucci, and welcome to this Committed Prospects interview, class of 2016 LPG Prospects, Lane Herndon. Lane, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. And like I was saying in our pre-interview, let's get this thing started. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. All right, so Lane, let's talk a little bit about your, your background. You're originally from Greenbrier, Arkansas. You and your brother both were with LPG um, and let us help you during your college recruiting process. So take me back to 2014, which was eight years ago. What, what, what was the process like? And, um, you know, did you enjoy, um, you know, becoming a collegiate athlete and talk to us about that process? Yeah, it, it was great. You know, it was definitely, I think, a little bit different for the two of us, uh, you know, with us being from Arkansas and, you know, a little bit you know, out away from where, you know, some of the other prospects were at the time, you know, from my understanding that was close to back whenever it was just getting started up. And, um, you know, we were only able to make a couple of trips there to see you, uh, to work with you, but we were able to do a lot over Zoom, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, FaceTime, things like that. We were able to stay in contact. Mm-hmm. You know, mom and dad set us down and they had a conversation with us about whether or not we were serious about wanting to play college ball. Uh, you know, it's something that we've been invested in, putting a lot of time and effort into. Um, and so we made the trip uh, to, to the office and we ended up sitting down with you guys there and uh, having a good you know, meeting conversation and getting just signed up. It was I, I, re- I remember this. Now, listen, I want to tell you, I remember when you guys came to the office and I want to show you something that's actually that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to share my screen real fast. I'm going to show you, man, this is uh, this is you guys signing, you know, when you committed. Can you see this? Yeah. screen? Yeah, so there, there, there they are. Oh, 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 a little too far. A little too far. There he is, committed. I was just a little. Yeah, you you committed to you committed to Henderson. Do you remember these pictures, huh? I do. I was definitely. They had me talk in front of the entire class. You know, they're at at school, and I was definitely nervous. I think I was sweating profusely whenever I was doing all that. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty cool. So there you are catching. You know, I pulled up your folder because I kind of wanted to show the audience. You know, some of the some of the history. Look, ha, who is this guy right here? How does this guy look? What? How would you how would you grade this catcher right here? I mean, it's a little bit of a biased opinion, but I think he looks like an all-star if you're asking me. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like an all-star. I love it. I love it. So what is it like looking at footage from you in high school? Ooh. Man, definitely. It's definitely something I miss. You know, I, my, my favorite part, I think, of ball, you know, obviously getting to college and being a part of everything that was going on there was nice. Uh, you know, for me, got a little bit different, you know, with the injuries and everything that I went through. But all, the, all of that, the work that it was putting into, to, you know, to get the scholarship, the playing in the summers, the falls at the different schools, uh, you know, the workouts, everything was something I really enjoyed. Yeah, so that's really cool. So you actually weren't sure. You came, you came to us and, you know, like your dad was talking about, we built this cool relationship with LPG being headquartered in Dallas, Texas, and you guys being an out-of-state out of, out of state prospect, out-of-town prospect. Um, did you find that it was um, that it was advantageous for you to have someone in your corner, even though we were out of state at the time and we didn't get to have that face to face interaction all the time? The, the power of the digital metaverse, mm-hmm. if you will. Um, did you feel like you benefited even though you were out of town? Oh, yeah, 100 percent. You know, we were able to stay in contact. We always knew exactly what was going on. Uh, we knew everything, everyone you were in contact with, what was being said. Um, you know, the conversations we had with coaches regarding what y'all had talked about. You know, I specifically remember a school giving me a call. Um, I just finished practice. You know, they let me know that you had talked with them. They'd seen some videos and they wanted me to actually come up and, and you know, do a visit, do a workout. Um, so, you know, you definitely knew just by the contacts we were getting from people that there was work getting put in long hours and, and you know, trying to help us out. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what it takes, man. I mean, you're a great example of, you know, despite certain circumstances that were out of your control, you still committed yourself to the process. And really, that's that's also something there's also something to be said about your parents as well. Um, Your parents from the get go were were believers and not only LPG, but that there is such a thing as the college recruiting process. And then I think like once they really committed to it, and they were in from the get-go, I think you followed suit. And so what would you say to parents that are out there that, um, you know, that are leader, leaders and, and should be examples during the recruiting process on, you know, this is how to do it? Like, how important was your relationship with your parents through the, through the recruiting process? It, it, was, it was different. You know, it, 
you know, making sure that I, I stayed on what I was supposed to be doing. You know, obviously, if someone's wanting to do this, they're wanting to play college ball. They have to have the self-driven motivation to do it themselves. Um, but, you know, making sure that we had the resources we needed. Uh, you know, we were part of the different gyms, the different workout facilities, things like that. The teams we were able to play on to get in front of different coaches, different uh, you know schools that we were playing at. You know, I definitely think it's a team effort. You know, this isn't something that just a prospect could do by themselves without the support of their parents. And I think that that's something that's really important is knowing that they have your back and that they're willing to do what they have to on their end to make sure that you're successful. Um, you know, the, the other thing behind it too was, you know, keeping, keeping us, you know, making sure we're staying out of trouble, that keeping us in line. I, I think a lot, that the schools are looking for, especially in an, in an athlete, is not just how they're able to play. It's going to be their, you know, what their what their schooling is like, their grades, their GPAs, ACT scores, um, and you know their their personality and, and you know their morals. You know, they're not just going to want someone that's one. So let's talk about that though. Let's talk about the character part of it. So yes, parents are important, but the character of the prospect matters. And I remember we we never had an issue with you or your brother's character. You guys always like jumped off the charts as far as the type of prospect college coaches wanted to recruit. So what would be your advice to younger prospects that are maybe currently going through the college recruiting process? How important is that character and how important are our academics as well? Academics are important. You know, a lot of schools, sorry, there's a dog. A lot of, a lot of the schools, you know, they're, you know, especially if you're going to a division two school, something like that, they're not always going to have the money as a team to, you know, throw out full scholarships to every athlete that they want to play there. A lot of it's going to be, you know, getting money from the school for academics. It's going to be getting money from the team. Uh, I, I think a lot of your academics is an important part because it shows that you're, you know, you're self-motivated, you're driven, um, and that you're really working hard at everything you do. I mean, a good athlete's great, but if they can't trust that you're going to be eligible to play in the spring, why would they want you on the team? I, I definitely think that's probably one of the most important things. Uh, the character side of things, um, you know, they're not going to want a selfish person on the team. They're not going to want somebody that's not willing to do what's best for everybody else. They want someone that's going to show up to practice on time, that's going to put the effort in uh, with workouts, not cheat reps. Uh, that's definitely something I think that they're all, you know, they want to be able to trust the players that are on the team. You know, there's, there was the people I've played with that, you know, they weren't showing up to class. They weren't showing up to morning workouts. Uh, those people didn't play. And so I, I think that that's something that the coaches are really, you know, consider when it comes to, you know, the person that they're going to be playing on the team. I agree. I agree. I think that, that that coaches will find those who they have once they get them at on campus. But really, they want to try to eliminate prospects like that to begin with, right? And yeah. I think that's kind of what you're alluding to is the way that you treat your parents and your peers and your teachers, teachers and your coaches uh, while you're in high school is going to be um, indicative of how you of how you do do this do how you treat those people as well while you're in college. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely something that they pay attention to. Um, you know, you, you see a lot of, of you know the you know people that were my age going through high school and everything that thought you know, school was a joke classes were a joke um it's not you know playing you know playing college ball getting there and playing is definitely everyone's dream but at the end of the day what do you, you have to have something to fall back on whenever you're done playing and, and you know the school inside of that's what's going to give you that sure lane you're so well spoken so i gotta ask you this what is one thing that you learned that you've taken into your life what is one thing that you've learned from lpg Definitely, definitely giving everything that I have into what I'm doing. Uh, you know, it's not, not, you know, you can't sugarcoat it getting, you know, working to get a scholarship. It's not just something that's going to be handed to you on, on a silver platter. Um, and, I, and I definitely think athletics, things like that was something that followed me into the workforce and making sure that I'm, you know, motivated at my job, uh, being able to work hard, moving forward, uh, having the character, everything I think that I have now came from playing sports, um, growing up the motivation that went behind that. All right. Last question. Your best piece of advice to active prospects going through the college recruiting process right now. Okay. Yeah. And, and it's definitely something I've thought about too. Uh, you know, soak it in. It, it's <laughs> there, there's going to be a day wherever you get there and then it's in, you know, you fly, you flink, you know, you blink your eyes and it's gone. Uh, you know, it, it's something that you have you need to cherish it. 
Um, you know, you, you see a lot of people that are doing whatever they can to be the first ones that are committed to a school. Um, I definitely think you should be taking your time, uh, looking at your options, visiting everyone that wants you to come to see their school uh, and listen to what they have to say that there is no team that's perfect for everybody. Everyone's going to have someone that they fit in more, um, making sure that you take your time and figuring out what that's going to be and the kinds of people you're going to be playing with, uh, you know, the, the, what the coaches, the relationship would be like with them. Uh, don't rush. There's no need to. You know, you have four years whenever you're in high school to figure out where you're going to play ball. Uh, don't be the person that's trying to be the first one committed to a school. You know, that there's people that get scholarships at the end of their senior year, and they're happy as could be because that's where they decided they wanted to go. Well, I love that answer, Lane, and I, I definitely appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Um, I want to do this again. Can we do this again soon? Yeah, for sure. I think that you have a lot of really good insight for committed prospects, for active prospects. And, you know, I'm very proud to have you a part of LPG. And I really appreciate, you know, the, the relationship that we've continued to build even after you've graduated college and, and graduated high school. And, you know, I hope that some prospects and parents will see this and they will get some great information on, you know, maybe a, a thing or two that they didn't know before. So thanks for coming on and thanks for doing this committed prospect interview. Yeah, I really appreciate you having me, man. The, the the relationship we built even after, you know, I was committed. And even whenever I was in college, we stayed in touch. You know, it definitely shows that LPG cares even after the, you know, the job's never done. You know, it's a relationship now, your family. Um, anyone that's a part of LPG is going to be a part of that family. Well, thanks, Lane. All right. I appreciate everything. And as always, if you need me, I'm in your pocket. I'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it.